Hello, welcome to the second part of Intimate Partner Violence and Information um, on IPV. This information is coming today from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC.gov. So um, this portion, I wanted to speak a bit about um, intimate partner violence, sexual violence, and stalking among men. So understanding violence against men, male victimization is a significant public health problem. Um, <clears throat> And across the U.S., nearly a quarter of men reported some form of uh, contact um, of violence in their life lifetime. So some facts about um, male victimizations. And kind of before we get into that, um, let me share some definitions. So men and boys can be victims of sexual violence, stalking, and intimate partner violence. These forms of violence can happen in childhood, teenage years, or in adulthood. So IPV, intimate partner violence, physical violence, sexual violence, stalking, psychological aggression, and control of reproductive or sexual health by a current or former um, intimate partner. Is also sexual violence, sexual activity when consent is not obtained or kind of given freely. Um, and stalking occurs when someone repeatedly harasses and threatens someone else, causing fear and or safety concerns. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for intimate partner violence, about one in three men experience um contact of violence, whether that's sexual violence, physical violence, stalking, or um, by an intimate partner during their lifetime. Nearly 56% of men who are victims of contact of sexual violence, physical violence, and or stalking by an intimate partner first experiences these forms or other forms of violence um, by that partner before the age of 25. So for stalking, about 1 in 17 men in the U.S. are victims of stalking at some point in their life. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I wanted to also speak about prevention, and prevention is key. Um, by better understanding specific experiences of male uh, survivors of violence, uh, we could take into action into the communities and um lessen and or stop the violence prior to it beginning. So some resources um, in regards to IPV. So RAIN, which stands for Rape, Abuse and Incest National Networks, National Sexual Assault Hotline. Their number is 800-656-HOPE. So that's 800-656-4673 to be connected with a trained staff member um, from a sexual assault provider within uh, your particular area. Also, if there are uh, imminent dangers, please contact 911. Um, also creating safety plans uh, with a trained mental health provider can be of assistance. And when seeking a mental health provider, like a therapist, a social worker, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can do a Google search uh, to start the process if you're looking. And um, therapist, social worker, um, licensed counselor, and then put in your zip code. Um, so that that therapist, that mental health provider um, that is trained can assist you with trauma-informed services as well as um, a trained professional that uh, works uh, along with um, uh, symptoms, um, diagnoses, strength-based practices, cognitive behavior therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, um, uh, uh, all of those great things. And there are many theories and methodologies to assist a person that is a survivor of IPV. Um, I hope this information was of assistance and I hope that you enjoy the remainder of your day.